In today's video, I want to give you guys an overview of the great Bandai Namco sale that is happening over on the Nintendo eShop right now. A lot of great deals as a part of that. Bandai Namco, one of my favorite publishers these days, they put out some good stuff. And they've been a prominent supporter of the Nintendo Switch for quite a while, so let's go over some of these deals available. We'll get through this rather quickly. Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm Trilogy is available for $19.99. I think this is solid. This includes Storm 1, Storm 2, and Storm 3. Now, from a single-player standpoint, Storm 1 is relatively weak. It's not the greatest. That takes you from the first episode of Naruto until the end of the, uh, you know, pre-time skip Naruto, the pre-Shippuden Naruto. Then you have Naruto Storm 2, which I think is really, really good. That that one really realizes the anime very well from like episode 1 to episode 150 or there's some secret stuff in there as well that takes you a bit further if you like 100% the game but it's a pretty satisfying arc of the Naruto anime and then Storm 3 is a little bit different where the anime went to you know it was still going on and Storm 3 kind of wanted to add some finality to it so it kind of diverges onto its own uh, pathway but then you also have Storm 4 which is on sale but talking about those three games uh, for $19.99 I think it's quite good. I think they're all really good arcade fighting games. Rather, I should say arena fighting games where, you know, they're not super technical. It's not going to take you a billion years to get good at these games, uh, but they do have a little bit of depth to them with things like, you know, using the substitutions and things of that nature, but 1999 for it, I think is pretty good. Storm 4 is really solid as well. This is the Road to Boruto edition. That is $35. I think this is a great buy. I love Storm 4. Once again, a great arena fighter. Single player takes some of the anime elements and turns it up to 100 it makes it way more over the top and i love this single player component of the game playing it with a couple friends also very enjoyable and road to Boruto does extend the experience quite a bit 35 dollars again a little bit of a pricey game but i do think uh you can get some longevity out of it and ultimately it will be worth it staying on the anime trade one piece pirate warriors 4 is 36 dollars if you're a fan of one piece pirate warriors this is going to be right up your alley does it pretty well my hero wants justice team 36 dollars look i'm a big fan of my hero academia uh, season 4 was a little bit questionable but these games well, they have some appeal in the sense that if you're a fan, you're going to enjoy some of the elements of the game. They are just very bare bones in terms of content. And $36, I don't think is that good of, of a buy. Contrast what's in My Hero 1's Justice 2 to what's in Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. Uh, Road to Bruto, especially, given that they're only a dollar apart and Naruto's actually cheaper. It's night and day, so I would probably just avoid this or wait for it to get cheaper. Or you can get My Hero 1's Justice 1, which is $19.79. Uh, I think that's a little bit more palatable uh, given the price to content ratio. We've got God Eater 3 for $19.79. That's pretty good. If you're looking for anime Monster Hunter, I think is the simplistic way to put it. Uh, definitely has its own elements, more of an emphasis on the story, but $19.79 for that I think is pretty good. Rad is $7.99. Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch is $14.99. One of my favorite JRPGs in recent memory. I played this originally on the PlayStation 3, had a great time with it then, and it's a very charming JRPG where even if you're not the biggest fan of Japanese RPGs in the traditional sense, it's one that's very engaging for newcomers, and I think you guys can have a really Get time with it. Solid battle system, great story. Really, every element that a single player game should have, it's got it and it does it pretty well. Uh, Tales of Vesperia, this is one of my favorite JRPGs ever. It's $15, which I think is a steal. Generally, fundamentally, it is the Tales of gameplay that you should know and love if you're a fan of the franchise. However, Tales of Vesperia has the strong point of having a great cast of characters and a solid story. Really, it's those characters that set it apart because the characters in Tales of Vesperia are absolutely awesome, and $15 for it, I think, is a great buy. Dragon Ball Fighters is only $9.59. That's kind of insane. Dragon Ball Fighters is a really good game, and it's a technical fighting game, but it has a lot of appeal to Dragon Ball fans as well, so $9.59 for that is really solid. For those of you are, that are more traditional arcade uh, Dragon Ball fighting game fans, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 is down to $9.99, which is a great buy as well. Little Nightmares Complete Edition is $7.49. Great horror title there. Uh, definitely worth a buy and worth checking out, I thought. I believe it was Tarsier Studios. They did a great job with that game, and I think they're doing Little Nightmares 2. Pretty sure they are, so yeah, reason to check that one out, but... Solid sale from the guys over at Bandai Namco. A couple of other deals are available, but I thought I went over the main ones. Katamari Damashi Reroll is also $9.89. That's definitely worth a mention. Glad I was able to mention that. That's a great upgrade of a game from the PS2 days, and they do it quite well. So that's going to conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.